a judge, a handgun, and an open courtroom. We now have video in the case of a West Virginia judge accused of pointing that gun at an attorney. Last month, KDK investigator Andy Sheehan talked to an attorney who accused that judge of waving a handgun from the bench in a threatening manner. He joins us now with that video. Andy. Well, Kim, it's not clear from the video that Judge Hummel intended to threaten anyone, but it does show he produced a gun in open court. Did this West Virginia judge pull out a gun in open court and wave it in a threatening manner against an attorney and her legal team? Attorney Lauren Varnado told me last month Judge David Hummel tried to intimidate her. He pulls out his gun, points it in a waving motion, like kind of scanning, you know, defendant's counsel, places it on the bench, I'm standing, and then slowly turns it to make sure the barrels are still pointed at me. In this courtroom video obtained by KDK, we do not see Judge Hamill scanning the courtroom with the firearm, but we do see the gun in open court. Here he moves it across the bench and places it to his side during the duration of the hearing. The audio is not clear, but later on in the hearing, we see him addressing the court and briefly lifting up the gun for those in the courtroom to see. I do know that it's not proper gun safety to hold a gun that way, to point it at people, to leave it laying around. Varnado represented the Pittsburgh-based EQT Corporation in what had become a heated trial over gas drilling mineral rights which he asked for the judge to be removed because of a conflict of interest. Since that hearing, Varnado has more than once come to Pittsburgh to speak with the FBI Pittsburgh office, which will neither confirm nor deny an investigation. But in the letter to Varnado, the county prosecuting attorney says he's reviewed the tapes and is determined Hummel has committed no crime. I did not see or hear him threaten you, nor did I see him point a firearm at you. I advise you once again the statute for limitations on a criminal misdemeanor for brandishing a firearm is one year. Varnado declined comment today, but last month she told me she was frightened by the incident and doesn't believe Hummel should remain a judge. He cannot stay on the bench. And that remains an open question. The West Virginia prosecutor says he will not press charges, and as I said, the FBI isn't commenting. Andy Sheehan, KDK News.